in, in the service of fraudulently obtaining the office. Uh, that, would be the, the, uh, that would be an impeachable offense. Uh, Jerry Nadler there, the Democrat, will take over the Judiciary Committee. Joining us now from New York is former U.S. Congresswoman Nan Hayworth. Ms. Hayworth, thanks very much for joining us. You have been a supporter of Donald Trump's, and I wonder where you are today after the midterm election losses with the Democrats taking over the House of Representatives, all that we are hearing from the Mueller investigation, all that we are hearing from the Southern District of New York. Is there anything in all of this that has made you concerned about the president's future? Uh, no, not in terms of, um, really, uh, Caddy, if you look at uh, number one, Russian collusion, uh, nothing has been proven despite two years of effort. Uh, Caddy, nothing that was in the filings on Friday indicated that there's any pattern that can be put together to the president's uh, disadvantage. In terms of, yes, there is much talk about Michael Cohen. Uh, and the payments that went to Ms. McDougal and to Ms. Daniels. Uh, but bear in mind, uh, and much is already being uh, written about this, but bear in mind that uh, these were uh, payments, and the president uh, contends strongly that he did not have relationships with these women, but that aside, these were payments that were done to, uh, yes, you know, to uh, facilitate their silence. There is. Uh, a pattern among many prominent people of uh, providing monetary payments to people whom they want not to uh, sully their reputation inside or outside that, of a campaign context. That's not ideal in a president, is it? Well, it's, it's a fact of life among prominent people. Uh, Caddy, it has nothing to do with the portfolio of policies uh, that the president was elected to carry out. Uh, you know, if we're, if we're talking about uh, what a, a prominent person does uh, privately, and this, of course, is what the president was indicating earlier today, these were, not, these were actions that he would have taken with or without a presidential campaign going on. Uh, said, and, and I think that will be his argument, and it is uh, one that I think he can make quite effectively from a legal standpoint. So, no, am I worried uh, about the president's uh, risk of uh, being impeached over the next two years? I am not, uh, for many reasons, nor do I believe that the president uh, would successfully be pursued in that way, even if the numbers in the Senate somehow uh, favored uh, a, a vote, which, of course, uh, favored a conviction, which will not be the case, as we know. But so I think it would be best for the Democrats and my friend mm -hmm. Jerry Nadler, whom I know, uh, to move on from this and try to get something done, actually, for the American people who do not care about uh, any of these issues nearly as much as they do about border security, the economy, uh, and uh, other crucial right. concerns. Do they not, Nan? They, they don't care that he had much deeper contact with Russians well into his presidential campaign, which he wasn't honest about, at a time when Russian agents were trying to influence their vote and his campaign. They don't the care about is, that? There's no, there's, there's, there's no evidence. Number one, no, people are uh, not uh, concerned about those things because, frankly, there's no evidence that the president was in any way uh, influenced by uh, dealing with in any means that would affect his campaign or his success in pursuing the office. Let's bear in mind uh, that the, the traffic with Russia was pursued uh, very vigorously by Democratic operatives. Christopher Steele, uh, who was paid by Democrats uh, to create right. a fake dossier, had much contact with Russia. So if anything, uh, you know, the pattern that we're seeing is that the Democratic side mm -hmm. and the Hillary Clinton campaign uh, were dealing in ways that were meant to uh, try to influence the election and influence uh, the course of this presidency. Former Congresswoman Nan Hayworth, we have